So hi everyone and a very good evening to all of you. Welcome back once again to another class of PIB 247. In today's class, we'll be talking about the PIB news from 17th to 18th of September 2023. And before we move ahead to the questions, please give me a thumbs up if you guys can see me properly and can hear me properly, then we will start with the class. Good evening, good evening, good evening everyone. Please give me a thumbs up if everything is fine so that we can start with it. Good evening everyone, I hope the preparations, I am saying in class that I am hoping that your preparations are going well. So please, keep it right. It's not that you take it lightly, lo, right? Because this is the last opportunity of this year. If you want to have a job, if you want to have an employment in any of the regulatory bodies examination, so this is the last opportunity. Okay, ji? So yeah, everything is fine. So let's begin with the class without any delay and let's talk about the very first question. And there are some very, very, very important questions today. Some very, very important news in today's class. So please pay proper attention to today's class. Aaj ki class mein se ek aadha question aapke exam mein definitely fasne wala hai. There will definitely be one or two questions from today's class. Thik hai ji? Chalo, start karte hai. Question number one se. Ministry of Agriculture recently has launched Upaj portal to provide real-time standardized and verified data on agricultural commodities and facilitate data-driven decision-making for policy makers, researchers and stakeholders. The question is very simple, what does Upaj stand for? So, a new portal has been launched by the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, which is known as Upaj portal. So, is there any full form of Upaj? Yes, there is a full form that is Unified portal for agricultural statistics. It will be a unified portal for agricultural statistics. So, the name is saying it all. It is all about the agricultural data. This will simplify the agricultural data. This will standardize the agricultural data. This will uh, make available the agricultural data for all the stakeholders. Right? Talking about it, the objective behind launching this portal. The objective behind launching this portal is to provide real-time, standardized, verified data on agricultural commodities. Number two, it will facilitate data-driven decision-making. Of course, all the decisions are based on data in today's world. So, once the data will be standardized, once the data will be verified, the decision-making will become easier. All right? And it will also harness the diverse of the agriculture sector and using data as a catalyst for the growth. When I have a data regarding my company, regarding my profession, regarding my employment, I will change it accordingly. I will move ahead accordingly. Right? So, data is something which is very, very important. Now, these are some of the key features. It will standardize the data on prices, production, area, yield and trade, making it accessible in one location. Data analysis, it will perform uh, advanced analytics, offer insights such as production trends, trade correlation, uh, market analysis, everything it will do, right? Number three, commodity profile reports will be produced using various algorithms to minimize subjectivity and providing users with comprehensive data again. And last but not the least, plug and play. This feature will provide the users the flexibility to use the portal's data. Okay? Through this feature, plug and play, the users will be able to use this portal's data to prepare their own reports, to prepare their own plan with the help of data provided in the portal. All right. So that is all about it. Let's come back to the question now. What will be, what is the full form? It is unified portal for agricultural statistics. So, option E will be the right answer, guys, to this question. Okay, ji? All right. I'll take your guys, I'll take your doubts in the last. So, we padh lete hai. Let us study right now and then I'll pick your uh, doubts at the last. Don't worry. Very, very important question. I hope you all know that PM Vishwakarma scheme was launched by the Honorable Prime Minister on his birthday, 17th September, Seva Divas. So, we will be discussing the scheme and then we'll come back to the question. We will come back to this question. PM Vishwakarma scheme. Ki baat kar lete hai. So, Prime Minister Modi has launched PM Vishwakarma scheme on the occasion of Vishwakarma Jayanti, that is 17th September. Right? And Vishwakarma, I hope you all know, is the god of uh, 
मेकिंग ठीक है बनाने वाले गॉड है वो इज अ क्रिएटर एक्चुअली क्रिएटर तो आई बिलीव ब्रह्मा को बोलते हैं विश्वकर्मा वो है जो बनाते हैं घर बनाते हैं ठीक है सो आर्ट इज एन यू कैन से ठीक है आर्ट मैन विश्वकर्मा इज द गॉड ऑफ आर्ट और एक सो ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या है इस स्कीम के वॉट विल दिस स्कीम डू दिस स्कीम विल स्ट्रेंथ एंड नर्चर द गुरु शिष्य परंपरा द गुरु शिष्य परंपरा और फैमिली बेस्ड प्रैक्टिस ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल स्किल्स वट एवर स्किल्स वट एवर ट्रेडिशनल स्किल्स आर बींग प्रैक्टिस इन माई फैमिली आई विल टेक फॉरवर्ड दो ट्रेडिशनल स्किल्स With the help of PM Vishwakarma scheme, all right, it will improve the quality as well as the reach of the products and the services of the artisans, right? It will ensure that the artisans, products, and they themselves are integrated with the domestic and global market to to enhance the outreach of their products. ठीक है जी? आगे बात करते हैं. The total outlay of the scheme is thirteen thousand crores. Now, where this money will go, I will tell you. This money will go in giving benefits to the artisans, to the Vishwakarmas. It will be a central sector scheme, and to those who don't know what is the meaning of central sector scheme, central sector schemes are those in which entire funding is borne by the central government, while centrally sponsored are those in which the amount of of a scheme is shared between the central government and the state governments. Okay, that is the difference. It will be implemented for a period of five years, starting from this financial year, and it will end on financial year 28. And of course, the nodal ministry will be the Ministry of MSME. Few people were confused between Ministry of MSME and Ministry of Tribal Affairs. No, it is Ministry of MSME, right? Now, what benefits the Vishwakarmas will get? All right. First, before that, the scheme will cover 18 types of trades or crafts. These are the 18 trades or crafts. Okay. now you don't have to remember it you can just read it once and you will recall in the examination don't worry theek hai ji yes god of architect you are absolutely right god of architect or god of architecture benefits benefits kya kya milenge so first of all vishwakarma will be registered free of charge through common service portal using biometric based uh, on pn vishwakarma portal theek hai unki registration ho jayegi after registration they will get recognition through pm vishwakarma certificate and id card skill upgradation involving basic and advanced training and a toolkit incentive will also be provided by rupees 15000 and they will also get a get a collateral free credit support let's say they want some kind of money to promote their products to market their products because bina paise ke to business nahi hota na so collateral free credit support worth rupees 1 lakh in first tranche And rupees second lakh, uh, rupees two lakh in second tranche will be provided at a very concessional interest rate of just five percent per annum. Okay, ji. So these are the benefits that Vishwakarmas will get under PM Vishwakarma scheme. So what will be the right answer then? All right, question. Let's see. Mukesh is a traditional garland maker with a shop located on the ghats of River Ganga in Varanasi, UP. He is the third generation artisan from his family doing this traditional job. He is looking to avail benefits from PM Vishwakarma scheme. Which of the following benefit he will receive under the scheme? Of the two bar, हो गया यहाँ पे, so you guys can make the changes in the PDF. All right, he will be registered through Common Services Center using biometric based PM Vishwakarma portal with nominal fee of rupees ten. No, this is absolutely free. दस रुपए क्यों लेगी सरकार भाई? दस रुपए क्या करेगी सरकार? कुरकुरे थोड़ी खाएगी दस रुपए के, ठीक है? He will be provided with toolkit incentive of not rupees fifty thousand but rupees fifteen thousand pandra thousand rupees ka toolkit incentive milega, and it will be provided with collateral free credit support up to rupees one lakh first tranche at a concessional interest rate of five percent. This is absolutely correct. Option C will be the right answer, guys, to this question. ठीक है जी? All right, I hope uh, this is clear. Question number three. Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying has organized Matsya Sampada Jagrutta Abhiyan on the occasion of third anniversary of Matsya Sampada Yojana in Indore in Madhya Pradesh. What is the duration of this Abhiyan? Okay, ji. What is the duration of this Abhiyan? Let's talk about it. One second. So it is Matsya Sampada Jagrutta Abhiyan that has been launched by Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying, headed by Purushottam Rupala. on the occasion of third anniversary of 
Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana. In the previous government schemes revision class only, I have discussed the scheme in detail, so I am not going to discuss this scheme today. ठीक है कल ही कल ही डिस्कस किया है कुछ घंटों पहले राइट सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू रिपीट इट एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस ओकेजन द मिनिस्ट्री हैज अप्रूव 239 प्रोजेक्ट्स अंडर द स्कीम फ्रॉम 15 स्टेट्स वर्थ अराउंड 103 करोड़ एंड दीज आर द 15 स्टेट्स वेयर द प्रोजेक्ट्स हैव बीन लॉन्च नाउ यू डोंट हैव टू रिमेंबर द नेम्स ऑफ ऑल दीज 15 स्टेट्स ऑफ कोर्स दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू आस्क इट ठीक है आगे चले तो दिस अभियान हैज बीन लॉन्च With an objective of disseminating the information and knowledge about nine years achievement of the government of India in the area of fisheries, animal husbandry, and dairying, and it will also highlight the success story of the beneficiary. Okay, the duration will be from September 2023 to February 2024, and this campaign will reach out to 3,477 villages and three crore fishermen. Okay. So that is all about it. And what is the answer now? What is the duration? September 2023 to February 2024. That is six months. Option D will be the right answer, guys, to this question. And with this, let's move ahead to question number four. What is the question number four? The 14th edition of World Spice Congress has been recently inaugurated in Navi Mumbai, Maharashtra, to open up new opportunities to promote international trade of Indian spices. What is the theme of this edition of World Spice Congress? So it was the 14th edition, and it was about to play, uh, about to take place. Uh, you know, in the I believe in the month of February or March, but it was postponed, and now it has taken place in Navi Mumbai, Maharashtra, with the theme Vision 2030 Spices. ठीक है ये हमने बहुत 50 बार पढ़ चुका है, ठीक है 50 बार हमने पढ़ा होगा, and of course there is a a full form of spices sustainability productivity theek hai innovation collaboration excellence and safety right you and you have to remember this full form it is important all right organizer was the spices board which works under the ministry of commerce and industry right and what is this world spice congress actually world spice congress is the global conglomerate of the global spice industry it was established in the year 1990 उन्नीस सौ नब्बे में इसको स्टैब्लिश किया गया था ठीक है सो दिस मच इंफॉर्मेशन इज इनफ एंड दैट्स वाई द राइट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन सी विजन टू थाउजेंड एंड थर्टी स्पाइसिस क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन अगेन एन एस डी सी नेशनल स्किल डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन इन कोलेबोरेशन विद विच बैंक हैज फ्लैग ऑफ स्किल्स ऑन व्हील्स इनिशिएटिव स्किल्स ऑन व्हील्स विच मीन्स देर मस्ट बी सम काइंड ऑफ ऑटोमोबाइल राइट या ट्रेन हो सकता है इनिशिएटिव टू इक्विप रूरल यूथ पर्टिकुलरली वेमेन विथ की डिजिटल स्किल्स एंड मेक देम जॉब एंड फ्यूचर रेडी सो एन एस डी सी इन कोलेबोरेशन विद इंडस इंड बैंक विच इज द बैंक इंडस इंड बैंक दे टूगेदर हैव लॉन्च दे टूगेदर हैव लॉन्च स्किल्स ऑन व्हील्स इनिशिएटिव राइट एंड वॉट वाई दिस इनिशिएटिव हैज बिन लॉन्च इट विल इक्विप rural youth especially the women right with all the digital skills so that they can be future ready so that they can be job ready all right now talking more about it it will also spread awareness at the grassroots level about the importance of the skill about the importance of skill ki kaise hum skill ke sath apni zindagi ko aage le ja sakte hain how important the skills are for us to gain the livelihood opportunities right 60000 youth will be empowered over a period of 5 years with relevant skills to improve their livelihood and there will be a bus of course customized bus with retrofitted tools which will promote the awareness regarding the skill development across the country okay so that is all <clears throat> about it and which bank is this indus in bank option a will be the right answer question number 6 pe aa jate hain Very very important question again. Ministry of Jal Shakti headed by Gajendra Singh Shekhawat. Housing and Urban Affairs headed by H S Puri, Hardeep Singh Puri, who is also the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas, have jointly launched Swachhta Hi Seva campaign from Jaipur in Rajasthan. Do remember the place from where it has been launched. That is also important. What is the theme of this campaign? Let's talk about it. So it has been launched from Jaipur, Rajasthan. Why it has been launched? These are the four broader objectives. 
नंबर वन इज टू क्रिएट जन आंदोलन टू क्रिएट जन आंदोलन थ्रू कम्युनिटी पार्टिसिपेशन नंबर टू टू प्रोवाइड अ बूस्ट टू प्रोवाइड एन इन पीटर्स टू द इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ स्वच्छ भारत मिशन नंबर थ्री टू डिसेमिनेट द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ अ संपूर्ण स्वच्छ विलेज वाय अ संपूर्ण स्वच्छ विलेज अ कंप्लीट क्लीन विलेज इज इंपॉर्टेंट राइट डिसेमिनेटिंग इंफॉर्मेशन विल बी डन अंडर दिस कैंपेन to reinforce the concept of sanitation as everyone's business it is everyone's business not mine not only yours right it is ours business all right aage chale so the theme is garbage free india with focus on visual cleanliness and welfare of safai mitras it, <coughs> it will run from 15 september to 2nd of october 2023 the ministries i already told you jal shakti and housing and urban affairs there is a portal that has been launched for monitoring and documentation of this week of uh, uh, you know this campaign this campaigns work jo bhi campaign hoga jo bhi kaam hoga usko monitor uska documentation kiya jayega and it will for the first time calculate actual man hours of shramdaan shramdaan means labor you can say while capturing the number of activities and number of people participating in the activities and the second indian swachhta league has also been launched with the objective of mobilizing the youth group at a scale to take sustained ownership of swachhta across beaches hills and tourist places basically this indian swachhta league is nothing but to invite youth to encourage youth for cleanliness drive at their local places theek okay? hai so that is all about it and what is the right answer then what is the theme it is garbage free india with a focus on uh, protection to the safai mitras and now guys let's talk about the questions in short but before that if you want to have the pdf of this class you can join the telegram channel the link of the telegram channel is in the description please thoda sa kasht kare description mein jaye telegram channel ka link hai aap telegram pe mere ko message karke puchte ho thoda sa kasht kar le theek hai jitna kasht aap mere ko telegram pe dhoond ke message karne mein karoge उतना ही कष्ट यहां पे लगे उससे कम में बलगी ऑल राइट सो प्लीज डू दैट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन वेर हैज पीएम मोदी रिसेंटली इनोग्रेटेड फेज वन ऑफ इंडिया इंटरनेशनल कन्वेंशन एंड एक्सपो सेंटर कॉल्ड यशोभूमि यशोभूमि हैज बीन इनोग्रेटेड एट अ प्लेस कॉल्ड द्वारका इन न्यू दिल्ली एंड इट हैज बीन मेड एट अ टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ फिफ्टी फोर हंड्रेड करोड़ पांच हजार चार सौ करोड़ ऑप्शन डी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट एज पर द डेटा रिलीज बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर रिलेटेड टू प्रोग्रेस ऑफ एरिया कवरेज अंडर खरीफ क्रॉप्स एज ऑन 15 सितंबर 2023 टोटल खरीफ क्रॉप सोइंग एरिया हैज क्रॉस्ड 1095 लाख हेक्टेयर्स एंड ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर नबार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन Which ministry has been conferred the prestigious first bhasha, uh, sorry, first Raj Bhasha Kirti Puraskar 2022-2023 in the category of ministries or department having less than 300 employees? It is Ministry of Personal, Public Services and Pension, which is headed by PM Modi, and the Minister of State, which look after every affair is affairs, is Dr. Jitendra Singh. Okay, ji. Question number ten. International Coastal Cleanup Day is held worldwide on the third Saturday of September every year under the aegis of UNEP and South Asia Cooperative Environment Programme in the South Asian region. Who is coordinating this activity in India since 2006? It is Indian Coast Guard. Indian Coast Guard current Director General is DG Rakesh Pal. Rakesh Pal is the current Director General of ICG Indian Coast Guard. Question number eleven. Where has India's first dedicated OPD? Very important question for transgenders. Been inaugurated recently to offer free treatment, investigations, sex change surgery, along with other facilities for the transgender community. The answer is. Tell me, brother. Who will tell? It is New Delhi again. Option B is the right answer. And the last question for today. From where? Has TB Mukt Express been flagged off with the slogan "Chalo Chalein TB Ko Harane"? Let's go and beat the TB. 
राइट एंड टीवी तो पता ही होगा ना ट्यूबर क्लॉसेज भाई तो टीवी मुक्त एक्सप्रेस हैज बिन फ्लैग ऑफ इन उधमपुर एंड इट विल ट्रेवल विद इन द उधमपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ओनली राइट एंड उधमपुर इज द लोकसभा कंस्टिट्युएंसी ऑफ डॉक्टर जितेंद्र सिंह हु इज ऑफ द मिनिस्टर ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी ठीक है ओके सो दैट सेट फॉर टूडेज क्लास आई होप ऑल द क्वेश्चन and their explanations are clear now if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section upar kuch logon ne kuch sawal puche the let me see those questions yes i think prashant from january if you cover pib that should be enough Arpit is asking how will government identify between artisans and normal people? You should be an artisan. Uh, you should be an art. Your generation, right? जो आपका वो artisan है वो generational work होना चाहिए. ठीक है ऐसे नहीं होगा कि आज आपने artisan का काम शुरू कर दिया and you will get the benefit. It will not like that. Parijat is asking: Is it expected that next year there will be one exam for prelims that will be uh, notified by RBI itself? Let us not get into it, this. Previous session PDF was uploaded in Telegram, brother. You go. You should be go. You should go and find it. I have checked it myself. Okay. If you have any doubts, you can ask. Otherwise, give me a thumbs up. Then we'll end this class. and next class as usually will be on friday yes lingam lingnam it was uploaded all right guys so let's wind it up and i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear fir bhi koi doubt agar aaye to comment section mein you guys can ask thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless